Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to our daily five-minute adverb adventure. This is day 67. Can you believe it? We've already covered so many adverbs, and today, we're diving into a really interesting one. Perfectly. Remember, as we go through these lessons, adverbs will start making your reading experience a lot richer. Try picking up something you like to read and see how much easier it is to grasp the meaning. All right, let's get started. First things first. Let's see if you can guess today's key point. Here's a quick quiz for you. Question. What does perfectly mean? 1. A little bit. 2. Completely and without any flaws. 3. Not at all. What's your guess? I'll give you a moment to think. All right, time's up. The correct answer is 2. Completely and without any flaws. Perfectly means something is done in a way that has no mistakes it's just right. When you hear perfectly, think about something that's just spot on. Imagine baking a cake and it comes out of the oven exactly how you wanted. Fluffy, golden, and delicious. It's perfectly baked. That's the feeling perfectly gives you. Flawless. Nothing wrong. Let's talk about how perfectly is used in everyday English. Imagine you're explaining something difficult to a friend and they totally get it. You could say, he understood perfectly. It's a great way to show that someone completely got the point. Or think about looking at a map that's super easy to follow, no confusion at all. You'd say, the plan is perfectly clear. And sometimes, when someone does something really, really well, better than just good, you might say, she handled it perfectly well. You see how versatile this word is? Sometimes, perfectly gets compared to words like completely or Exactly. Let's break it down a bit. If you're cleaning a room and didn't miss a single spot, you'd say, the room is completely clean. That's about everything being done. No exceptions. Now, if someone follows instructions down to the last detail, you might say, he did it exactly as I said. That's all about precision. But when you use perfectly, it's like saying everything was done just right, without any flaws. It's a bit more special, don't you think? Now it's your turn. In the comments, try making your own sentence using perfectly. I'd love to see how you use it in your own way, and I'll be checking to see how perfectly you got it. To wrap up, perfectly is your go-to word when you want to say something is done flawlessly. Remember to pay attention to its placement in sentences and how it adds that extra touch of perfection. Keep practicing, and I'll see you tomorrow for our next 5-minute adverb adventure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun and easy English lessons. See you next time.